Hey folks, Matt Lang here. Today's an exciting day for me because Avid just released a new version of Pro Tools which includes a Melodyne ARA built in. And ARA stands for Audio Random Access, but what that actually means is that Pro Tools and Melodyne are now one singular organism. And I've never been a Melodyne person myself. I've always really gone towards Auto-Tune personally and always graphic mode, but for whatever reason, I just never got into Melodyne. Now that it's in Pro Tools, I'm probably gonna be using it a lot more. So bear with me as I am no Melodyne expert, but it is pretty quick and easy to do some really good tuning and also, of course, be really creative with Melodyne as well. So forgive my voice. It is uh, hardly warmed up and I haven't sung in a minute, but we're just going to try to uh, pull this together and maybe because my voice is hardly perfect, it's actually going to put Melodyne to the test. So let's give it a go. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools and I just made a little, uh, just a little bed to sing over and I'm just going to do it very quick and easy with a trusty SM7 and uh, then we're going to put it into Melodyne within Pro Tools and we'll see how it works. Testing Melodyne ARA within Pro Tools. All right, so that'll do. Hardly perfect. So here's my vocal, and now let's start going into this Melodyne ARA business. So all I have to do is just right click on this region and say Melodyne Edit. And here it pops up. And because Melodyne is smart, it knows I'm an F minor. So let's just go phrase by phrase. So the first one, if I wanted to uh, just quickly just grid all of these, all I have to do is using this tool, the note tool, just select my notes and double click and it's gonna grid them. And let's see how it sounds. I'm testing Melodyne. Which isn't bad. And before it was this. I'm testing Melodyne. Which, not awful to be honest, but I am not a perfect singer. The only thing I don't like in here is we've got that pitch drift. So, right on this note. Te so, that's gonna uh, just even it out a little bit. I'm testing Melodyne. Maybe even here too. I'm testing Melodyne. And there's some warble on this last note, so the pitch drift tool will allow me to kind of smooth that out or go nuts. I'm testing Melodyne. Maybe a little. I'm testing Melodyne. Now let's go to the next one, this phrase right here, and I'm gonna go back to my pitch modulation tool, or I'm sorry, the uh, pitch tool. And should go up there. A-R-A. And there is the E at the very bottom, and I'm just going to leave that as is. And maybe also just take out some of the modulation on this one. A-R-A. A-R-A. Fine tune it. And now let's go to, to the last one. Same thing. Go to our pitch tool. And grid it. A-R-A. Within Pro Tools. And that last note's wrong. With Should have been there. Within Pro Tools. And once again, it's me, it's not Melodyne. I have that swoop right there on the onset of that C. Uh, so let's try that. Within Pro Tools. Much better. And let's just do the pitch drift Tool. on this. Within Pro Tools. That was really easy and really fast, which is awesome. So now I can just close out the Melodyne window just by dragging or clicking that little button. And you know what? Let's, uh, let's make a harmony real quick. So I'm just gonna duplicate this channel and I'll say Active Playlist. So here we are with my duped Melodyne channel. And once again, edit, Melodyne, right click, Melodyne, edit. And here is what's going to be our harmony. So let's go over to the first phrase. 
and we'll just go down by thirds. And since I have Melodyne set to snap to the, uh, where is it? I'm snapping to the key, not chromatically. So it's everywhere I drag it, it's just going to be in the key of F sharp or F minor, which is going to be easy for now. So let's take these and drop them all by a third. Um, uh, and you can see it did a whole step there as opposed to the half step it was before. I'm testing melody. And I'm not a fan of the D flat. Uh, let's try it there, but let's also solo the other. I'm testing melody. Uh, and that doesn't work. Uh, I'm testing Melodyne. Uh, Maybe let's try the C. I'm testing Melodyne. Uh, it's still like uh, a, it's still the B flat. I'm testing Melodyne. That'll work. Now let's go up to the next phrase. Hey, uh, A-R-A. Nice. And let's go to the last one. This is going to be a little bit trickier, I think. Within Pro Tools. Within Pro Tools. Oh, within Pro Tools. Oh, Maybe go down there. Within Pro Tools. Oh, and I'm just getting creative here. I just want to hear what it sounds like. Um, it's just like really as far as like writing harmonies goes that you could actually later re-sing. This is a great tool. Within Pro Tools. Cool. So now I just close it back out again, and let's hear it with the track. I mean, the track is uh, not completely diatonic, so I may have failed, but hey, it's a try. I'm testing Melodyne, A-R-A, within Pro Tools. It works. So yeah, having Melodyne built directly into Pro Tools now, just aside from the fact that it's really easy to do uh, pitch correction, creatively, it's opening up a lot of opportunities that I didn't have as easily. So this is a really exciting tool for me, and if you're a Pro Tools user, just go and download the new update. Um, most of the versions of Pro Tools, you can at least get Melodyne Essential, which will give you the basic tuning uh, monophonically. You don't get the polyphonic, you get that with the upgraded version. But either way, go and get it because this is a great tool and I love that it's built in natively now. It's just, this is amazing. This is a really, really groundbreaking feature for Pro Tools users. So if you're in Pro Tools, gotta check it out.